So let's do a sync. Just think if there's anything else I need to do before I do this, because once I do the sync, there's no going back. Yep, I think I'm happy to do this. So let's fire that off. Okay, so maybe the keys changed or it's out of date. How, how I don't know how this works. Um, so what we can do with this is to edit the um, repose.conf gen two. Yeah, yeah. This line here we can change this to no, and it will sync without any verification, see let's let that go through, but what I should do is go back and change that because I'm guaranteed to forget. Uh, Repose.conf2, change that back so it's ready to use for next time. And I'll go back to this window here now. So this will take um, a few minutes because obviously there's going to be a hell of a lot of changes in this. You can see it's um, not not whizzing by particularly quickly. This would normally probably take 20, 30 seconds or so to synchronize at the most, but it's obviously going to take, like I say, a lot longer. Okay, so that's taken 40 minutes or so. What I'm going to do now is to install the glibc and binutils. Oh, sorry. Uh, what I should do next actually is um, rebuild the packages that should be rebuilt after GCC upgrade. So what we need to do next is to do GCC config minus L to show the um, compilers that are installed and just set two, which is the one we want. So you can see it's switched and it tells us to rerun, resource the profile, make sure that new one's used. And then we've got to install libtool, but the wiki also mentions some other packages that are affected by this change. So not only is there libtool, but there's LLVM, CLang, WX Python, and WXGTK. And there are some rules about WX Python and GTK that got but both got to be updated. If you both got them installed, don't update one and not the other. Um, but it's all on the wiki page. We just search for upgrading GCC on Gen 2. Um, and what we do now is we just look to see which ones of these are installed um, because we don't install ones that aren't already installed. Uh, just don't need to worry about all this. We just look down here looking for those packages. So WXGTK, you can see that's being brought in so we don't need to install that one. LLVM, that's a new slot, so that's going to get updated anyway. Um, WX Python's a new install, and CLang is a new install as well. So arguably we should do LLVM, but 
Um, I don't think it's particularly important. I suppose we could do. Um, being that it's a new slot, I'm not sure what that what would be using it. I, I guess it's going to be some of the higher level um, packages that are probably still installed. Um, let's get rid of these two and let's see what's what this pulls in. It's still got issues with certain other packages. Um, let's do any query on what depends on the LVM. Oh, it's just me. So okay, that's not a problem then, because um, we're not. We wouldn't expect that to be installed anyway. So I'm not going to bother with LLVM. Just do the lib tool one. But normally, if this was just an ordinary upgrade, then um, I would have to do LLVM as well. So, looks like LibTools bringing in an updated auto make, but that's not a problem. So in theory, that should be all there is to it. Um, apart from getting rid of the old GCC, um, I imagine if we do a deck clean at the moment, it's not going to. It's not going to do much because there's outstanding updates. Yeah. So what we'll do is deck clean. I want to say GCC. And that should just remove the GCC that we don't want anymore. As you can see, it's going to remove 9.2. We're keeping the new one, 9.3. So that's okay. Very good. So the next thing we need to do now is to emerge GDPC and bin utils. Um, I don't think those will, these will install in parallel. I think they will. I think bin utils will go first. Uh, yes, it does. And let's bring in a virtual orc. And looks like there's a libidn being updated for glibc as well. So this will probably take about 10, 15 minutes to run in, I guess.
Okay, so that's built. Um, all we need to do is a depth clean on those two to remove the old versions. Uh, just have a depth clean to this. Okay, there's nothing for GDBC. So it's just a bin utils. And that is the um, really just the uh, toolchain done. I'm just going to do ATC profile once more just after bin utils, just in case. Um, apart from that, we should be able to go for an update now.